A bunch of new weapons have actually been released in Black Ops 3. There's been three ranged weapons, a new sniper, a new LMG, and a new AR. There's also been two melee weapons, the nunchucks and a thing called an enforcer, which is like an electrified stick. First ranged weapon we're going to talk about today is the Peacekeeper MK2. This is a remake of the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2. And yeah, this gun just melts people. The fire rate is so fast. The grip is incredible. The iron sights is great on it as well. Yeah, it's just, and with extended mags, it's 45 bullets on a mag. And without extended mags, it's I think 30. Correct me if I'm wrong there. And the weird thing about this remake is that it used to be an SMG in Black Ops 2. But now they've changed it so it's an assault rifle. But yet again in this game it still feels like an SMG. So don't worry about that guys. If you guys try this out, write down in the comments what you think of it. I think it's an amazing weapon. And yeah, let's move on to our next gun. So the next gun we are going to talk about is the DBSR50. This is a new sniper rifle in this game. Don't judge the gameplay, lads. I'm shit with snipers. But the, this sniper is a two-bullet sniper. So in, so you'll shoot it once, shoot it again, and then click back. Shoot it once, shoot it again, then click back. Yeah, it's really weird how this works. And some people are saying it's a remake of the DSR from Black Ops 2. But I don't think so. I think it's a completely new weapon. And yeah, it's really good in situations where there's two people there. So you shoot one, shoot another, then click back. Because with another sniper you can shoot and then you have to click back and then shoot. And yeah, this, this brings a new a new feel to the game from this package. And yeah, it works at long range. But hit mark is a thing with this. I think with the leg, with the waist down is a hit marker. But one shot kill with everywhere else in the body. That's what I got from this gameplay. But yeah, it is really good fun to use, so if you use it, write down in the comments what you think of it. And for our last range weapon today, we are going to be talking about the R70 Ajax. This is a really, really weird weapon. Firstly, it's an LMG, and it can hold 50 bullets in a magazine. But when you run out of bullets, it prints bullets. So you don't have to manually reload, it will reload automatically. And yeah, it's pretty weird how it does this. It is quite a fast reload. So from zero bullets to 50 bullets, it takes around 17, 18 seconds. But yeah, this, this is very interesting. I'm not sure 50 is enough for a magazine to get a few kills for an LMG. But because it prints bullets, that's a different story. You don't have to manually reload like the Dingo, the Gorgon, and the Four Burst. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> but yeah, it's very weird. And I like it. I like it. It feels different. I like the way when you aim down sight, you can see the printing of the bullets. And yeah, if you guys try this, write down what you think in the comments. Yeah, the nunchucks looks quite cool. It kind of feels like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in that sense. Or just like a normal ninja. That feels quite cool. Extra stick looks alright. But no one really cares about melee weapons. They just... Everyone just wants uh, the range weapons. That's what that's what I feel like. Everyone wants the range DLC weapons. But yeah, write down in the comments what you think of all of this, all of these new weapons. Give a like for the gameplay of all of them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.